When we see all these videos on becoming unrecognizable and completely changing in 60 days, three months, a year, however long the video states, I see that as us finally recognizing ourselves. You know, becoming unrecognizable to the world, to your friends, to your family, to whoever, becoming unrecognizable is really you starting to recognize yourself, you finally starting to see yourself in that higher light, in that next season, in that next chapter of your life. You are reintroducing yourself to yourself in this higher light. You are starting to understand this version of yourself. You are starting to understand this new you and to everyone else that may seem unrecognizable but really it's you starting to see yourself it's you starting to recognize yourself for where you are and where you're headed you know i feel like that's truly what becoming unrecognizable is you know in hindsight it's really you starting to recognize yourself for who you're becoming for who you really are right now in this season of your life in all of the you know become unrecognizable videos that we see it's a lot of, you know, spending time by yourself, taking care of yourself, solo time, do not disturb, ghost mode. All of these things are turning us inward to face ourselves and get to know ourselves. It's really us spending time with ourselves to learn about ourselves, to challenge ourselves, to kind of listen to what we really need in this chapter, stage, page of our life. Because thinking back to myself, let's say four years ago, yes, I am completely unrecognizable now um, due to so many of my characteristic traits changing. I mean, I personally feel like they have changed and I feel like people that I knew four, five, six years ago would think that they have changed as well. And really what it took for me to become unrecognizable was me starting to recognize myself, my worth, you know? starting to recognize what I truly like and standing on it, being honest with myself about what I truly like and standing on it, getting to know who I really am and standing on it and enjoying it and not being ashamed of it or guilty about it, you know, not feeling guilty about saying no to things I don't actually like, not feeling guilty about heading in another direction that maybe others in my life aren't heading. I'm getting to recognize myself. That is what caused me to become unrecognizable to myself and to maybe others. From my perspective, what has made me become unrecognizable to myself and to potentially others is me starting to recognize myself in all aspects. You know, I feel like there's so many different sides to me as there are so many different sides to all of us. I'm sure, you know, whoever you are watching this video right now, you have so many different sides to you. Allow yourself to explore all of those different sides and really start to recognize those sides and see how they can coincide with who you are at the core. I feel like for so long, I felt like I only could be one person, you know? You can only be super sweet, super nice, but you can't have an edge to you or else you're considered to be mean. No, no. <laughs> I just went ahead on my laptop and searched up how to become unrecognizable and the first thing that came up was read for at least 30 minutes a day, write for at least 30 minutes a day, and sit in silence for at least 30 minutes a day. Now, I feel like all three of these habits are great and they're personally things that I do like to engage in, but everyone has like different stages of their unrecognizable journey of getting to know themselves. Like, Maybe for you, getting to know yourself is starting to figure out who you are without something that you had in your life for the longest time, you know? Um, maybe you becoming unrecognizable is you starting to step outside more because you're usually inside and you don't go out and you don't really engage with a lot of people, you know? So everyone's getting to recognize themselves is going to look different depending on what they're trying to bring into their life, depending on where they're trying to elevate, in which areas. Um, so you can pick and pull from the different things you see online and the videos you watch, but really make sure that you go from within and ask yourself like what you feel that you need in order to recognize yourself again, in order to recognize your higher self, this next stage, this next season. Um, because it'll look different for everyone. I also feel like wanting to start that chapter of becoming unrecognizable is sometimes 
entering our lives when we start to feel a little bit lost. And I feel like maybe we start to feel a little bit lost because there's a new us that is waiting to emerge. There's a new us that's waiting to be introduced to ourselves. So I feel like that's why we all feel called sometimes to like become unrecognizable and, you know, start fresh, new version, best version. Yes, yes, yes. And you may feel like you're in that stagnant lost stage. And so you just want to start over. You want to become unrecognizable. You want things to change. Great. Amazing. You know, I feel like you feel that lost stagnant feeling for a reason, probably because you are meant to be pushed to recognize yourself again. This lost stagnant stage is happening for a reason. So you were able to start that journey. So you were able to look up things that may aid you and that may elevate you and just introduce you to a new version of yourself, an unrecognizable but recognizing yourself version. If you are someone who's looking to become unrecognizable and you know, you know, you have a time frame, maybe two months, three months, six months, a year, allow yourself to be consistent with what you see your higher self doing. Allow yourself to walk in your higher self's shoes and be unapologetic about it. Be unapologetic about stepping into your higher self's shoes you know, because it may feel uncomfortable starting to stick up for yourself. It may feel uncomfortable starting to say no to things that you don't really want to do. It may feel uncomfortable, you know, getting into a consistent workout routine. It may feel uncomfortable, you know, not eating those comfort foods all the time that may not be the best for you. It may feel uncomfortable doing things that you don't normally do, but you feel called to do those things for a reason. It's because your higher self is trying to introduce you to that elevated version of yourself, you know? Like it's it's right there, it's ready, it's waiting for you. You are ready to become unrecognizable. You are ready to recognize yourself. And this is gonna keep going. You're always going to have these unrecognizable, recognize yourself again stages. This is not the only stage of your life where you're going to be having that unrecognizable calling. Um... There's going to be so many of those callings, but whatever it is for you right now, allow yourself to step into it so you can start to continue your elevation journey, start to continue on your evolution as a human being in general, Um, start to learn more about yourself, start to learn more about the world, start to learn more about the different perspectives that you can explore within this life. And have fun with it, you know? I feel like becoming unrecognizable can seem so serious. And of course, staying consistent can seem challenging. Or it can be challenging if it's something that you've never done before. But still allow yourself to have fun with it. If working out more is something that you do want to include in your unrecognizable journey, get to know how you can do that, but still have fun. Like I, there's so many different ways to exercise. It doesn't just have to be the gym. It doesn't just have to be what you see everyone else doing. Like there's so many different ways to exercise and you can explore which one feels best to you and your higher self in starting to recognize yourself and starting to understand yourself in this new elevated version of yourself that's stepping in. Um, So yeah, but anyways, remember that you are completely capable of becoming the authentic best version of yourself and that everything is always working out for you, no matter what it seems like at any given point in time. Thank you guys for watching, listening, and I will see you guys in the next video.